just search cmd or command prompt in windows 10 search box right click on the command prompt icon click on run as administrator now once this command prompt window open up you have to run these commands one by one okay just copy and paste these command one by one in the command prompt window I have pasted all these commands in the description of the video given below. You can directly copy these commands from there and just copy and paste and hit enter to execute them one by one and your problem will be fixed. Let's move to method two if the problem is not fixed. Just press windows and R key together to open run command box. Now type ncpa.cpl. Now click on OK. Now let's say you are connected via wi-fi right click on wi-fi if you have you are connected via ethernet right click on ethernet in my case i am connected via wi-fi so right click on it now click on properties now just double click on this internet protocol version 4 tcp by ipv4 double click on it and make sure this is checked okay if you this uh, this option is checked use the following ip address and some ip address are given just Note down those details and check this option. Obtain an IP address automatically. And here also obtain DNS server automatically. Now click on OK and click on OK. Okay. So see if it works or not. If this not work, there is one more thing which you can do and that is right click on it. Click on disable and then again right click on it and click on enable. Okay. Basically disable it and enable it again. So this also fixes the problem in most of the cases. Let's move to method four. Just click on start button, click on gear shift icon to open settings. Just click on network and internet. And now go to Wi-Fi or Ethernet, whatever be your connection mode. Now click on manage known networks, okay, in case of Wi-Fi. And let's say you want to, uh, this is your Wi-Fi network. Just click on forget, okay. Once you have forgotten your network, just go here again and try to connect to that network again okay by putting the password of that wi-fi network that's it guys if the problem is not solved try restarting your computer this is one of the first method i think most of you have done it that's it guys please do like the video to support us and thanks for watching the